fictional? Uh, I have no idea. Well, then, then when you say the sky is the sky is blue, it's just a chance occurrence. It's it's it 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 just it just is. Okay, there's no reason why it is. Now, the point what I'm trying to say to you is this: is that in the God of the Bible, we have that which is ultimate, absolute, unconditionally non-dependent, and He institutes, creates this world according to a plan, and in that world of a myriad of particulars, we have unity among diversity. The continuity that he has instituted in his creation is what provides for unity along with diversity so that we can have an Darth, you got to dumb this down. I mean, okay. I'm like a high school dropout here. You're okay. using all these no, big words. Not, I mean, no, no, you're not. Okay. If you're, okay. <laughs> like, geez, I'm glad to explain. What's going not, on here? <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, it sounds like I need a PhD to understand this argument. All right, all right. I, apo- <laughs> Maybe I, apo- bearing, I apologize. Maybe we're some of it in some subterfuge here. What's, okay. what's the all actual right. argument? All right. Okay, all right. According to the laws of logic, we have the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of excluded middle. The law of intent- right, identity. Right, but says, logic, like you I'm trying, I'm, 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 yeah, because I have to start with the laws of logic and then how they apply to facts and then right. how facts apply to worldviews. So just right? a quick question, though, because I, I know you bring up logic a lot, and I know that consistency is important in logic, but consistency is not important in survival strategy because the environment changes, and sometimes one strategy that worked for one environment doesn't work for another environment. So how does consistency— You're not understanding. Why, why environment, is, well, you, okay. You, you put a lot is of— there, Is there—okay, I want to ask you a question. What is it that exists that has ultimate continuity? Is not, it God nothing. or not God? Nothing. If you ha- if you have no ultimate continuity, then you have no actual continuity. Well, define continuity. What do you mean by continuity? Continuity means that something or some things stay the same. Nothing. <laughs> well, then, then that now now you're screwed because if if everything changes, then you cannot uh, ap- invoke abstractions or concepts. Well, well, that this requ- is... Let may I finish, please? Yes, I'm sorry. I interrupt. Okay. Go ahead. Finish up. In order to speak intelligibly about things, right, you're going to be speaking a mixture of, of unity and diversity. Okay? When we talk about the dog and the cat are playing in the backyard, the dog and the cat are not their name. It's not Fifi and Fido. The dog and the cat are labels of unity and continuity. They are classes of particulars. The cat and the dog are particulars. Those particulars are given a token representing that they are a member of a class, that they have a shared set of properties and attributes that are not simply the result of happenstance and spontaneous occurrence, but that there's something in existence that provides for continuity and regularity and hence laws of nature, resulting in, therefore, in cats and dogs. We call that science, mate. Right. Now, if you're going to say no God needed, right, in the Christian worldview, God is the necessary precondition for all states of affairs, including the unity and diversity in existence. If you say that God is not needed, then the question is, is is there actual continuity in existence amongst all of the diversity of particulars? Because without any continuity, right, without regularity and uniformity, you're not going to be able to make sense of things. So is continuity in order to make sense of all of the diversity of particulars in existence, does it actually exist? I, guess the, I, I don't the, necessarily the, know what you're asking me. I, I, I don't necessarily know why making sense of things is, is important and why well, God is necessary if, if we to make have, sense of if things. We have, if we have a, let, let's say we have, just for the sake of argument, a trillion to the trillionth power 
of particulars in existence out there. How are we going to make sense of this whole array of particulars? The only way is that there's going to have to be some continuity and unity amongst the diversity of particulars. And how is that continuity dependent upon God? Because God is the institutor, creator, and sustainer of all continuity and regularity. How can you prove that? Uh, the only way that it can be established is through God giving self-disclosure and revelation. Without God giving revelation of that, then there would be no way to account for uh, actual continuity and regularity. Well, now, I, I, it, I'm already suspicious of continuity and regularity, as I okay, said. Well, no, so. no, well, I then, noticed, no, you're not. You're, no, you're not. You're not. In an, it, maybe in some sense, I, I could agree with you. But you do have a strong conviction of continuity because you invoke classes of things all the time. Uh, when we talk about classes as opposed to classes and abstract objects, we're talking about concrete objects. In concrete objects, when you invoke classes, you cannot have classes of things without there being actual regularity and continuity. Okay? No continuity, you don't have classes. Right? You would You're therefore... We're talking it, philosophy and logic, though. So. Right. So what I'm saying to you is this is, you want to believe that you can make intelligible sense in your world without the, the triune God of Scripture ontologically existing as the ultimate foundation of all facts and the intelligibility of facts. Well, that's going to require that you identify what is ultimate and how that ultimacy secures and provides for any continuity and regularity. Otherwise, if you don't, all you're going to have is an array of particulars out there that are unrelated and ununified in any sense. If I say the dog and the cat are playing with a dead bird, what I have just spoken of, I've spoken of three particulars, and in order to make sense of those particulars, I have invoked classes of things which can only exist because there's continuity. There are regularities, there are laws of nature producing these classes among particulars. A right? subject predication. Right. So, with that, when you say, I can do without God, which you actually cannot do, I'm going to okay. show you that you, yes, I'm going to show make. you, I'm going to show you what are going to be the catastrophic metaphysical consequences of denying God. Because Go then I'm going to, then I'm going to ask you to explain to me anytime you verbalize a class, okay, among particulars, I'm going to ask you, how is it that this class actually exists? As can I? Can I no, let, basically no, no. lay out what I think is happening with your argument, Darth? No, what I want to know from you is, can you make intelligible sense out of all the particulars in existence without regularity and continuity? Uh, regularity and continuity is necessary for you know scientific discovery. Obviously. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not discussing science. We're talking right. about the well. Yeah, understanding the world. Yes. Speaking, yes. Regularity right. and continuity is, is important. Right. Okay. Continuity and regularity. Okay. Without right. regularity, the uniformity of nature. Well, at least the laws of nature. Well, the uniformity of nature, the laws of nature, are synonyms for each other. Correct. Okay. Now. Without accepting that it is the case that nature operates in some uniform ways, then it would be unintelligible to invoke classes of concrete objects, right? Cat or dog would just simply be a token of a name, like Fifi and Fido. It would not designate that they have a shared set of properties and attributes which stem from regularity. So in order to have intelligibility out of the array 
or plethora of particulars that are out there. We're going to need something in existence that is ultimate, static, and the grand unifier that provides for any unity among diversity. But I, in, I a don't, God, don't in, in a how... God-free world, in a God-free world, there is no way for you to establish any unity. I don't see though. There's like the, even the word cat. There's a, like probably fifty different names for a cat in different languages. You're, how you're, is it? You're, how is it universal? How is it? You're you're you're, you're 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 confusing the token well, cat. You're, you're talking Listen about classifications, though. Yeah. Yeah, you're confu- yeah, class refers to the property set, not right. the token of the property set. Right. Like, what is it in, in French? Is it chat? It, well, you're, you're just claiming something is universal yeah, that's not it is universal. Chat, no, 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 okay. We're, I'm not discussing the token that is given in a particular language for the so class. you're talking about the actual cat. I'm talking about what we what we tokenize as cat is a class of an entity right. that has a shared set of properties and attributes. But that isn't a, even universal because it's changed over time. You're not you're not you're not understanding. Okay, it's because there has to be some unity over time, or else how would you know that it changed? Because of, we know through the fossil record. So you're saying time. No, no, okay. is, time no, you're no, saying no, you're, time listen, is the continuity. Listen to me. You are, listen to me. You are confusing this metaphysical discussion about the intelligibility of predication with scientific issues. Okay, the intelligibility this is a mistake. Of, what does that Int- mean? The intelligibility of discussing facts mm-hmm. is, is you're, you see. This is commonly what you atheists do. I'm not having any discussion right now about science. I'm simply talking about metaphysics and its intelligibility. Now, can, can I can pe- I try to steel man your argument? Just so I know that I understand it. Go ahead. So you're you're basically saying that there would not be any continuity, any any uh any like cause and effect you're basically hinting at without the existence of God. That without the existence of God, cause and effect would no longer exist. Um, what, 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 I'm, what I'm saying is there cannot be without God. In other words, my position is that when you deny something that actually is, what you are denying cannot even be accounted or established. And that the denial, the, the denial of the proposition leads to catastrophic metaphysical unintelligibility for everything. So so let me let me try to steel man that. You're but this doesn't make any logical sense because you're saying that if I deny the existence of God, I can't understand what a cat is. <laughs> you will you will not be you will not be able you will have no framework or ultimate context to make sense of any particular. But that's blatantly untrue. I understand okay, how good, cats work. Good. And... Okay, 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 good. So a cat, are you referring to a particular that possesses, uh, it, it possesses the attributes of a class? Yes. Okay, now, can a particular possess the attributes of class, a class, without there being a uniformity of nature? Well, we, we make up the class. We as human beings no, make no, up the no, class. No, 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 sir. Because then that would be, that what you are advocating then it would be called nominalism. That classes don't actually, actually exist. They're just simply something that we imagine. Yes, They're, exactly, they, as, a, well, as then, a community. Okay. No, then, then what you're, then what, then what, what, then what? I mean, words, language falls into this. Then category. what you're, then what you're, what you're happening. Then, then anything goes. Then, then no statements would be obligatory. Now listen carefully, okay? We may, we may invent the token cat, but the cat is deemed to be a class which is the product of continuity or uniformity that is independent of simply um, human conventionality. In other words, human contrived. The classes 
are deemed to be human discovered, not contrived. We're simply recognizing the classes that already exist, and we are going to affix a conventional token to that. Okay, well, we disagree there. Well, what what I said can't be cannot be refuted. Well, what do you mean? We 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 you're saying that we're discovering these categories, and I'm saying that we're creating these categories. Like, of course, we can argue no, that point. No, no, you're you're talking about the creation of the token or the discovery. Yeah, what, what do you mean by token? Are you talking a like token, an avatar, token, like a name? A, what a, to- do you mean by a token, token is a word. A token is a word that represents something. A representation. Yeah, exactly. We're ta- the word right. cat okay. for the actual cat. Yeah. The word cat yes. is a token representing a class. Yes. That has the a French shared call it set of something pr- different. They've made up a different token. That's a different token, but right. it is the same class. Well, which one's God's token? <laughs> what is it? What does that even mean? Well, what's God's word for a cat? Uh, 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 uh. I could. Hey, hey well, listen, dude. You, you want to get you want to get booted from the room? Who's ever uh, heckling? I, I don't want to be cowboy. All right, you're 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 going to be banned now. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. I doesn't he get a warning? Don't isn't it like three strikes you're out and come no, on? No, 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 no. <laughs> because because uh, because the people who are in here know better. Well, yes, you just fucking like you, run, you run a you run a tight ship. I like that, Darth. Do we lose hey. Darth? I don't know. I'm not hearing audio. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. No, I did the wrong command. Do it again. You're still cutting in and out. I don't know if you know that. This might be God stopping. God stopping doing that. All right, he's he's gone. Okay. Um, no, because I have to type in the command, and if I get one character wrong, it doesn't work. All right. So, is this your room? On how are you on Ask Yourself server? I'm on Ask Yourself server, right? Yeah. Yes, you are. Wow. This is my room. This is my room within the Ask Yourself. Show. Oh, nice. You are you friends okay. with Isaac? Ask yourself. Yeah, Isaac. Just on just on the server. That's cool. That's cool. I like okay, Isaac. So okay. So um, either either you believe that cl- classes are just conventional, or they are discovered. Right, and we disagree there. Okay, which do you believe is the case? We make them up. Okay, therefore, therefore, the, the, these are therefore. Fuck you, bitch! All right, hold. Hey, fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna fuck you up, my man. I gotta run to the bathroom anyway. I'll be right back, Darth. Yeah, yeah. See you, man. Yeah, see you, my man. See you, my man. I love you. I love you. Hey, my leg, my back, lick my pussy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't the, do, I, don't, I don't I don't know why the I don't Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. You just fucking retarded, mate. Shut uh, me off. What the Give fuck? Give me a second here second. while I ban him. Yeah, yeah, shut it off, man. I just have to fucking activate the VPN. I just fucking come back, mate. Fucking bitch. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, yeah, mate. It's maybe God stalking. God stalking is is just blocking you for fucking banning me, mate. What do you think about it, mate? Huh? Maybe God stalking is blocking you for murdering me, mate. What do you think about it, huh? Okay, it worked. I'm back. Okay. Okay. I have to I have to set the record straight on something right, too. Right. I said, uh, so, so hold on one second. I yes. I in case anyone's recording this, obviously I hate to lie online. <laughs> that I obviously I'm not a high school dropout. You know that I was making a joke. Like I'm a college graduate. You 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 knew that though, right? I know. Yeah, of, of course. People will, people will hound me on well, that. Listen, They're like listen, you said listen. you were a high school dropout. Listen, 
listen, listen, listen, we obviously disagree left and right, but I do appreciate where you said, can you dumb this down? Because um, sometimes people are more familiar with the things that I'm saying, and obviously you are less or not. So I've yeah, got to be more. Yeah, that, I don't have the like, it, has, it, has not, it, has, it has nothing to do with your intelligence or, or your edu- ed- education. Okay. Well, and I think that you respect that I don't want to disparage anybody's faith. Like, I'm not here trying to convert people to atheism. Like, no, I, I, no, I think people should. We, no, the only thing is, is you and I disagree on our, on our worldview. I don't have, listen, dude, I don't have any problem with you other than the fact that we have a clash of worldviews. I okay. like the way that sounds. A clash, a clash yeah. of worldviews. Yeah. yeah, that, 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 that's what, that's what, that's what it is. You see, you've been disagreeing left and right, but you're not being sleazy. You're, you, you are attempting in so far from your position to be truthful and transparent. You're not being devious. You are, I think, legitimately objecting from at least what you think is your point of view. Right. So now, so you think that, that, so classes are either not real or they are unidentifiable. They are just simply human imagination. Correct. Well, that, then that's a, then that's a problem then. Then, then all that we just simply have then is um, the only unity that we have among particulars is only in in what we tokenize them with. There, there's no there's no unity between Fifi and Fofo next door when they're when we call them cats. They're, they're not they do not share any actual common properties or attributes as as a set. It is simply we imagine that in some way there's there's unity. Well, well, they do. I mean, what do you? They have like the same DNA. Well, then, okay, then classes then are objective. Then, then they would be discovered, not contrived. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Okay. I I see what you're saying. Yeah. So so when we talk about uh, we discover the but we make up the classification. So it's a little give and take. We make up we make up the token. Correct. Right. But we discover or recognize the properties and attributes that are unified within the class and that a particular possesses the class. Yeah. This particular okay. organism that we're okay. talking about. So, right. So, so now we're moving on where it's becoming clear where you recognize or you're accepting the objectivity of classes of things. Right. Yes, we're in agreement. Okay, right. So in order to have intelligibility for the array of stuff that's out there, all of the separate particulars, in order to have intelligibility, right, there's going to have to be some un- continuity and unity among diversity. So are you, but are you saying God is like a Rosetta Stone then? Like no, God is... God, God is that which has instituted and secured the continuity and unity amongst the diversity resulting in human intelligibility about facts. So we, without God, you're saying we wouldn't have a symbolic logic as human beings. Without, without God, you would have no identifiable outer context of reality from which to secure or found any unity amongst the diversity of particulars. So, so draw the causal connection for me then. God is the necessary precondition for all facts, including the intelligibility of facts, which includes the relationship between facts. Now, when but, you but reject, how, how does he do that? Like the, I don't understand. He like, does that as human well, beings because he because he constructs a world. Where there is unity and diversity, the unity is representative of the uniformity or laws of nature, resulting so, so in he can class- a world where symbolic God logic has, is possible. Is no, no, no. Symbolic logic. Okay, you're talking about the fundamental laws of logic. Well, I'm just talking about. I mean, you're you're the one that kind of went down this symbology path. Okay. I mean, I ad- admit, okay. like human beings. One of okay. the reasons why we dominate this if planet you, is listen, because listen, we have listen. symbolic logic. Okay, all right, listen. 
in, in order to have intelligibility, we're going to have to recognize that there is unity among diversity without which we cannot have intelligibility. Do yeah, but I, I don't see the causal connection between there being a okay. God and do, intelligibility. Do you, accept, do you accept that in order to have human intelligibility for existence, that there has to be unity amongst diversity? So I don't necessarily know what you mean by unity among diversity. Unity about- is referring, unity is going to refer to the uniformity of nature resulting in discovered classes of things so, so you're talking about the things. laws of nature you're talking when we, when about we talk, when we talk about when we talk about dogs and we talk about cats and trees what we now have are particulars that p- possess a class okay and so now it's intelligible that we can we can know that that particular is in actuality like or akin to another particular so, Rather so draw, than the two part, the two particulars are not the same at all. So, so when we talk about two cats, the reason why that's intelligible is because there's unity among the diversity. Each cat, cat A and B, are diverse because if yeah, they weren't, they would be the same cat. I don't see, <laughs> I don't see how you need God for that. But let, let's focus in okay, on something. I like understand this. that. I understand that. We'll get to that in a moment. What I'm trying to explain to you is that. In order to have a human intelligibility, we have to have a world where there is unity and diversity. Right. Well, I would simplify it to something like, well, I mean, ca- there's cause and effect, which it seems like the world couldn't exist like it does today without that's cause another, and effect. That's another issue. That's right. another issue. Do you accept that in order to have intelligibility as a human being, that there must be unity amongst diversity. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what I'm agreeing okay. to here. Like if you're saying you in order for there listen, to be repeatability, listen, we if, need if, cause and effect. In order I to agree. say, in in order to in order to say the little mischievous boy picked up the rock and threw it and it broke the window. Without their existing unity, the diversity of the entities wouldn't relate to each other. It would it just it wouldn't. I, I would, don't know what mean that anything. means. Like we need cause and okay. effect in order you, for. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're, you're. You're focusing on something else. The word "little boy." Can, can you say it in a different rock, way, though? This universe, uni, unity of diversity means may, makes no sense to okay. me. Okay. Okay. Can can you can you speak about anything in life without invoking classes? Uh, it would be difficult. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah, you would be. You would be left going, uh, uh, je blue blue, je joie and it would just these would just these would these would just this would just be uh, a token for a specific particular. It could not transcend that particular. So you would need to have a different token for every particular. Right, but this is a symbolic language argument. Yes, no, but do you under, I, I, but do you understand? I think we agree on that. The human predication without unity, okay, amongst diversity, you couldn't have human communication and intelligibility without what, unity and diversity. What do you mean diversity? by uni- unity of diversity? I don't. This makes no sense to me. Like I, okay. I want you to imagine that there's a trillion to the trillion uh, particulars in existence. And particulars? Do you mean particulate matter, or do you no, mean any, like little any, facts? Any, any, the, 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 the most elementary fact of anything. Okay, okay, I can do that. Okay, okay. Do I call it a particular? Okay. I got it's it. It's anything fact. that is to be distinguished from anything else. Sure, totally. Yeah. Okay. Now, some particulars. Somebody say, well, that's going to be composed of other particulars. Some particulars are more important than others. Okay, so. When you start talking about the dog is barking at the neighbor, right? To even invoke the word bark and dog, okay? These are classes of things. These are not mere tokens of particulars. I agree. Right. So communication would just be like, like for example, instead of me saying, look at the deer and its fawn, I would say, uh, uh, uh. 
That would just simply be a verbal token. So, so right? if you're saying communication is impossible without God, I just don't see no. what is the causal connection. Uh, well, uh, well, well, because because God is the institutor, instantiator of the uniformity, and He is the sustainer. Now, if you if you say no, God is not needed. I want to know what the ultimate framework that is ultimate and static and that provides for the why does it have to be static why because if if on the grand scheme of things if there's nothing that's static then all you have is an array of change you have but no unity that's all we do have the this is why we have you're not you're, you're not you're not you're not understanding because you can't okay I'll, I'll, well, I'll you, to, I'll, you I'm going to try to be patient because you're not you're not understanding the dark, picture. Dark. Let me make one point if, here. If everything, you, listen to me. If everything changes and there is no unity and unity over time, then you can't refer to anything by the name of a class because classes themselves would change. Tokens they do would change. change. They do change. That's how we have. You're, different you're, you're, languages. Not, you're not. You're not. You're not understanding. That the fact that some things changed, nobody denies. No one is taking the position of no change. No I one is am. taking that position. I'm taking, I'm taking that position. No, you're not understanding because then well, you're, nothing... you're. I'm taking the position okay, that there's I don't no, know, no you, static. I, you know, I know you're not trolling me. You know, because no, I, no, no, no entity. I'm definitely not. You're just not. You're not getting this. If nothing changed, then everything would be static. Yes. Yeah. It seems like Look, that's then, your, a little bit. Then, how, your okay, position, then, right? then if not, if nothing changes, how would you, you couldn't have a chronology of thought, could you? No. Cause and effect isn't like. No, you're not understanding. You Listen to me. If everything changes, okay, if everything is changing at, at whatever time index, then you wouldn't even have time indexes. You wouldn't be able to have intelligibility for it anything whatsoever if everything is changing in order to have intelligibility there have to be a conceptual framework about objective reality where some things don't change while other things do well it depends upon the scale though because if you're no. talking about changing like if language is changing so fast that you know cat is Listen, a different word you're 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 in the you're, middle of this talking, conversation you're 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 allowing your thinking to go off on to a rabbit trail if everything changes there could not be intelligibility you, if yes, nothing good. changed okay you're not you're not getting, the, you're not scale. you're not all right let, listen to me if everything is changing okay then you're not going to have continuity over time if you have any listen to me if you have any continuity that is that that is the negation that everything changes are, are you darth are, is your position like you understand that there's a scale of change correct or is your position that no things... no no there, listen okay either e i'm taking the statement everything changes if everything is changing everything at any given moment that will metaphysically and philosophically obliterate intelligibility for anything well you, you it, keep you keep juggling you keep you, you know what, you're, you're 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 very much like ask yourself in these mm -hmm. constant interruptions when you're not understanding what i'm trying to explicate to you all right oh, okay you, okay Lord, nobody i'm not i'm not i but you're you can't steal man because you're not understanding any of this Give Listen it to, to me, me one, carefully. Give it to me one more time, and I will okay. try to steal man. The Intelligibility best is going to require that the world around us, that there is uniformity along with change and diversity. Unity and diversity. If there is no unity or some things that don't change, then you're not going to have intelligibility for anything because intelligibility for, you know, for you to speak about something requires that some things 
have continuity over time while others don't. Okay? So we have we have three scenarios. One where everything is static, nothing changes. Okay? That's on one spectrum. On another spectrum, everything changes. Then we have in the middle where we have some things have continuity over time and some things change. Okay? Now, on either end of the spectrum, you cannot have intelligibility. Okay? I, I would agree with that. So you're saying on one... Because, because any spoken concept would violate either of the extremes. So you can only have intelligibility if there is continuity along with change. So how does that relate to God, though? Let, so let me try to steal now, what you're saying. God you're, is you're, the one. I'm going to explain it to you. Let, let me God steal man. Is, let me steal man. God, let me finish. We well, let me no, steal you're man. Not under, no, you can't. I'm not going to let you steal man because you're not understanding this. God well, how do we know is, if I can't, okay, if I don't listen, steal man? Why don't you, okay, listen, listen. You need to be more patient, right? Well, I, I just want to make sure that, that I got this is, one point. You know, you know what? You're talking, I mean, for a college-educated man, you're about as impulsive as a little child going to grandma's house. Are we there yet? I'm just trying yes, to have hun a Yes, honey, we're almost there. Are we there yet? Well, we're I'm about trying, to. Are I'm we there yet? Are I'm we there to, yet? I'm trying to have a constructive conversation. No, no I you're not. Sure you're you're, you're being impulsive. You let me make my statement, and then I'll then I'll let you speak, okay? Okay. God, God is that which is ultimate, that he himself, in the his core attributes, does not change, and he institutes a world of continuity and change, upon which that framework, we can have intelligibility. When you say God is not needed, then I want to know two things from you, right? What is it that, uh, how, do you, how do you account for any continuity? And if you do, what is it that secures continuity along change? I don't. Uh, continuity could be an illusion. Then, then well, no, no, sir. Either, either when you look, then, then what you're saying is is that you're saying that speaking about life is not intelligible. Is is speaking about things in life intelligible? Uh, yes. Does intelligibility require the prerequisite of continuity and change? Yes. Okay. Now, so your position then is that continuity along with change exists. What is it that secures the continuity, sir? We don't know. Okay. So now you don't know that there's actual continuity, do you? The ca cause and effect, yes. We don't, we, it could no, be an no, illusion. No, 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 no. You could have cause and effect without continuity, okay? The only thing that would be continuous would be cause and effect, okay? Well, the co continuity co that we're talking about with, co okay. How, how do you define, co co I mean, it's well, the same thing, really. Well, well no, no, it's not, because there's a difference between cause and effect and uniformity. Well, what do you right? mean by continuity, then? Continuity means that certain things stay the same. Okay, so a cause and effect yeah, is is a effect. is a no cause and effect does not establish the uniformity of nature. You could conceptually have the cascading occurrences of cause and effect without there being a uniformity of nature. Um, Leonard Susskind, who is a, a brilliant atheist physicist, said in an interview in A Closer Look on YouTube, the name of the show is A Closer Look, uh, the interviewer said, well, do, does physics operate the same way in, all over the universe? And the guy says, he said, we don't know. For all we know, physics could operate different elsewhere. Okay. Now, when we talk about physics, that's just a fancy way of talking about continuity. Now, Either you are going, in your God-free world, 
Either continuity exists, you will identify directly or indirectly that it exists, or you don't. Now, if you do not, if you do not claim that there's continuity, then you have no basis for intelligibility because your very capacity to speak is going to require the precondition of continuity. I agree. Good. So is there continuity? There, yes. I mean, for the sake of argument, yes, obviously. For the okay. sake of experimentation, right. yes. Okay. And, for the sake and, of language, yes. Good, yes. good. So, so since you reject the self-disclosure of the Christian God, that he's the institutor and creator and sustainer of continuity and change. Okay. What, how do you, how did you determine that there is actual continuity and what is it that secures continuity? Why does continuity have to be secured? Because without content, without actual continuity, you can't have intelligibility. Right, but continuity could be secured because we live in a matrix-like no, no, simulation, no, 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 and that's no, no, just no, no, part no, of the program. No, 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 no. You, you see, you're making a very fundamental error that many atheists do. T. Jump does this all the time. Well, I can't stand T. Jump. Don't get uh, me started I, on T. I, Jump. I, oh I, my I, God! I apologize. Why did you have to bring up that guy? <laughs> I, I apologize. I didn't mean to offend you because he's he's uh, you're, you're certainly not in the same class as, as he is. You're 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 a far more palatable person than he is. He's a little, um, he's a little on the unfriendly side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So your position entails, um, by implication, the existence of continuity. Um, you well, can't just, sit. Let, all right, let me finish. Well, I'm just you trying to get the causal you connection. Can't, in, when, when you when you state when you state God is not necessary then you can't have continuity existing in a vacuum. You can't say, well, it could be this worldview or that worldview that might provide for continuity because you, can, you cannot invoke another worldview that is not your own. You can only account for the actuality of continuity from within your worldview. You cannot offer coherently another worldview that is not your own, which would be the basis of continuity, because I, that I can contradict your... No, you cannot. It is a logical contradiction. H how? Because e every one of us speaks from a specific worldview, whether we realize it or not, okay? That worldview, whatever it is, is mutually exclusive and contradictory to every other worldview. Your worldview, whether you realize it or not, presupposes the falsity of every other worldview. Okay. This is where I was wanting to, because I, I, I'm familiar somewhat with your argument, and you, you want to get people, you want to focus in on this logical inconsistency, because people are people don't like to be inconsistent. But I think that there, and I mean, I'm, I'm, I could be wrong about this, but I think that there's a conflation going on between logical consistency and consistency in uh, relationship to survival strategy, because consistency is not an asset in in survival uh, you're, strategy. You're, you're, you've, not, you've 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 not, you've now segued away from the topic at hand. Okay, now. Are you familiar with the law of excluded middle and how it applies to worldviews? No, explain. Okay. The law of excluded middle states that something is either A or it's not A. Okay. You got the law of identity, A equals A. The law of non-contradiction, A cannot equal not A. The but law these are of, the laws of logic, correct? The laws of logic. Now, okay. the law of excluded okay. middle states that the law of, ex okay, do those fundamental laws of logic apply universally? But, but worldviews are, are different than laws okay. of logic. Do yeah. the laws of logic apply universally? Yes, yes. Okay, do they apply to all entities? 
Do the laws of survival strategies apply universally? Do the, okay, here we go again. You're segueing again. Hold on. Well, it's like you're, you're, you're making you're, a conflation. Listen, here, you're then. leaning over. You're leaning over the rail of the of the of the cruise liner, and I'm pulling you back in. Okay. Do the laws of logic. Okay. Especially the law of excluded middle. Does it apply to all entities? Yes, in logic. Okay. No, I'm talking about. Is it the case that for all entities that exist, they are what they are and they cannot be what they are not? Yes, in okay. the laws now, of logic. Thank you. Does the law of excluded middle apply to states of affairs? Yes, in the laws of okay. logic. Does the law of excluded middle apply to a worldview? No, because the worldviews are not laws of okay. logic. Okay, you're not you're not understanding. You're not but understanding. You're not under, you're not under, you're a not understanding. You, listen world to me view carefully. Is not listen, logic. listen, you're not understanding. You're not you're not getting this, okay? P please define the, worldview. The law the a, your worldview is your network of interconnected beliefs of dependent states that are provided for by whatever is ultimate. And what is the purpose of that worldview? Okay, listen to me carefully. A worldview is whatever you hold to be ultimate and absolute that provides for, for the, let me finish. I, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. Okay, well, let me finish because earlier you accused me of speaking too fast. Okay, your worldview is whatever you hold, consciously or unconsciously, as to what is ultimate, absolute, unconditionally non-dependent, and is the basis for the existence of any dependent state. Okay? I agree. So we what, have, what is now, the purpose of that world? Now, here? now, that, that, that's not relevant at the moment. Now, whatever worldview you're speaking of, all right, it will, ha it will hold to what is ultimate, and those states of affairs that are dependent. That Not worldview, that worldview is mutually exclusive to every other worldview. We agree. Now, that means, according to the law of, of excluded middle, now, now you're changing whatever, the logic. Okay, worldviews okay, are to, not logic. Li, 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 you, you, okay, listen. You, you, your response is, is borderline trolling. Listen Ow, to me carefully. That, that is not fair, Darth. That the is law, not what fair. I, listen to me. What I'm telling you, okay? That is not fair. Okay, yeah, you, you're constantly interrupting. When you, when you speak about the apple on the counter, or I speak about the cap on the counter, whether we state, state it or not, implicit within that predication is a concept of what is ultimate. Okay, so whatever we conceive to be ultimate will be mutually exclusive to anything that denies it. Okay, if my if my ultimacy in my worldview is A, then it will be mutually exclusive and contradictory to ultimacy not A. Do you understand? In the laws of logic, yes. Okay. Now, so you cannot offer when, whenever we speak, whenever we predicate or propositions emanate from our mouth, they are only viable and intelligible in virtue of what we implicitly hold to what is ultimate. Okay. All I, I predication. Don't know what all predication, subject and predicate, all predication will derive its viability and intelligibility in virtue of what we hold is ultimate. Okay? Uh, I if, I say to, if, I, if I say to you the sky is blue, and I'm speaking from the Christian worldview, the sky is blue is only actual, viable and intelligible in virtue 
of what I consider is ultimate, and that would be God, because only God is eternal and non-dependent, and he institutes and he instantiates creation resulting in the sky being blue, okay? So all predications for their viability and intelligibility are going to only be in virtue of what one considers to be ultimate that provides for that predication. Well, you're you're not making a lot of sense to me here, Darth. And we have different worldviews. Not making not making sense. What I just did was I step by step and, and I dumbed it down so you can understand it. What's the oh my oh, God, okay. I can't imagine right, what right, the right, non dumbed down right, version okay. sounds All right, like. I'll dumb it down even further. Okay. <laughs> Any statement of a dependent fact, okay? That's fair. Any, any dependent fact will only be in virtue of that which is ultimately non-dependent in my system. Uh, your worldview is logically coherent. I don't disagree. I didn't, give you, I didn't give you a worldview yet. Now, listen to me carefully. You cannot put on the table as an alternative worldview, something that is not your worldview. To do so is literally a logical contradiction, whether or not you're aware of it. Okay? You, but worldviews can have a logical contradiction. No, you're, you're not. You're not. Okay, listen to me. If you speak from worldview X... X is going to represent whatever is ultimate, okay, and that it provides for anything else that depends on it, okay? Not necessarily. You, no, no, necessarily, Adam. Why? Adam. Why is it necessary? It's because we're talking about what's ultimate. In your worldview, though. No, you're that's, about that's right. That's what that, no, you're not understanding, okay? Whatever predication comes out of your mouth, right? It will only be viable in virtue of what is ultimate in your worldview. Not necessarily. No, necessarily. Why? You could have a worldview where, you're where not, you're you not, never you're use not, the same you're, word for you're, something you're, twice. You're, you're, you're it not, wouldn't you're be not, a very good not, worldview, but... You're not, you're not, I, you know, for you other Christians in the room, I, I'm not going to accuse him of trolling, okay, because I've dealt with him before and I don't think he is. But this is the closest that somebody sounds to trolling who's not trolling. Well, do you do you understand? Getting. But do you understand the I, I'm I'm struggling to understand your argument, Darth, and I'm not okay. convinced right. you are struggling to understand my argument. Okay, okay, all right. Listen, and this is a two way I'm gonna, I'm, here. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a predication. Okay, can, can you steel man my argument for me so I know that you're understanding no, me? You're not even making an argument. Don't, don't you're you just simply, you're simply not comprehending what, what, what I'm saying not, to what you. What do you mean that I'm you're, not making an argument? Okay, I am yeah, making an argument. Not, no, you're not. Listen to me. Do, I am making an argument. You, do you, what? Do, okay. My okay. argument. What, can you, I? Gonna, can I, I state I'm gonna my dumb, argument? I'm going to dumb, dumb, dumb this down because you're not even. I have to dumb it down even further for you. Do you accept? Okay, I'm going to ask you very dumbed down question. Not that you're a dumb person. Do you accept that the God of the Bible is that which is ultimate and absolute? I like it dumbed down, so I do appreciate that, Darth. I don't want you to think I don't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Obviously, I, okay. I'm, now, I'm an atheist, so we have a different now, worldview. What is it? What is it that is ultimate and absolute? Since it is not God, I I don't believe. There's, I mean, I don't, in, in my worldview, there's nothing ultimate and absolute. Okay. That is incoherent. And I'm going to have to explain it to you. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Now, when we talk about what is ultimate, right? When I do, okay. What is ultimate is whatever is absolute and unconditionally non-dependent does not begin to exist and is the basis of all things that begin and are dependent facts. Okay, let me repeat that. What is ultimate is the basis of why any dependent fact exists. Can, can I? So, uh, can I just uh, skip to the chase and agree with you? Let's just say, for the sake of right. argument, that right. my worldview right. is logically incoherent. Okay. 
No, what no, what I'm saying to you is what I'm saying to you is you cannot even invoke any fact if you have prior told me that you do not accept that anything is ultimate. If nothing is ultimate, then nothing non-ultimate can exist. That that's fine. We'll we'll ignore the fact that I am making words that you're understanding. Okay. And for so the sake of argument, not, do, we do will you now say understand that my, do you, do you, you under now understand that it is incoherent to say, I do not accept that anything is ultimate? I, for the sake of argument, I'm granting you that my worldview is logically incoherent, okay? Your worldview is logically coherent. Mine is logically incoherent, okay? That's the argument that you want to make, correct? What, yeah, what I'm saying is the Christian worldview is the only coherent worldview. Okay, logically and, and, coherent. And, 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 we're in and, agreement. And hold on a second. For the sake of argument right. here, we're in agreement. And, and, but, you see here, but here's the position. Your position is not simply the non-acceptance of the Christian worldview. Your position is the denial of the Christian worldview. Well, can we move can we move past this and get to my argument now? Because no, you, you're no, saying, no, why, you why don't have we? an you don't have an argument because I do order, have an argument. I wouldn't no, be sitting here talking no, to you if I didn't have an argument, Darn. No, you no, you can't. Let me tell you why. Right? It's because argumentation requires reason. Reason is going to require an well, I, ultimate listen. I'm dude, gonna give you the unreasonable and, and, argument you, then, but I do have you know, an argument. You know, you know Whether what? Or not listen it's reasonable to me. or listen rational to me. Listen stuff, to I have me. an argument. You you are a motor mouth interrupter. <laughs> <laughs> says the guy who's talking 90% of the time. That's because I know what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, and you don't know what I'm talking about, and that's a problem. Okay, okay. We, Adam, why can't you steel man my argument? Adam, can you have reasoning and argumentation in a world where there is no basis for reason? Yes. That's incoherent, Adam. Well, it may not, it may not be coherent, but it can happen. No, that, no, you see, you, what you're saying is. Darth, none of this is, all what of you're this, saying, none of this is important okay, to the let, argument let, that I'm making. Let me, let me explain to you, well, I'm going to explain to you very plainly why what you were saying is a square triangle, okay? What you were saying is, is that you can invoke a dependent fact that does not, in fact, depend upon anything ultimately. That is a contradiction in terms. That is a square triangle. Okay. So we've already established that my worldview is logically incoherent and your worldview is logically coherent. Okay. So I'm having to do the best I can here with my logically incoherent worldview. Can we get past that now and no, move on no, to do you under, do you, but do you under, of worldview? But do you understand? No, but do you understand that your position is not just simply incoherent? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that the, the, in order to attempt to deny God, God is going to have to exist. In your worldview, sure. No, 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 Adam, Adam, listen carefully. God well, well, is going, you're, listen to God me God is going to need to, ex God is, let me steel man your argument uh, here, Darth. God, God is going is to need going to exist. To let me steel man your argument. In order to affirm or deny anything. God is going to need to exist in order for your worldview to be logically coherent. That is your argument. Am, your I, in, position, am I incorrect? Your position is a self-contradiction. Okay. Right? We've already established therefore, that. I've given you that. You won, okay? For the sake then, of argument, that, my worldview is that logically mean, incoherent. Then that, then that means the God of the Bible exists. But the worldviews are not logic. Will you, what is a worldview or, for? What is the purpose of a worldview? What did you study in college? I studied art. <laughs> what did you study in college, Darth? Okay. Um, well, well, you want you want to compare reading uh, lists, Darth? Because I mean, I'm an autodidact. No, I, you I were, read no, on my own. You, you, you were if 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 you're an autodidact, it doesn't show. Well, hold on here. Let's compare reading lists. What 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 should I have read that I haven't read? Listen, how about start reading the Bible? Yeah, you're well, so I Christian, have read the Bible. You sure are following <laughs> Christian okay, values. Now, now, the problem the problem here is this, right? There's only there's only two positions. There's either the affirmation Darth, will you answer one question for me. Either the affirmation of the Christian God 
or there's the denial of the Christian God. But it is not, it is incoherent and impossible to deny the Christian God. Therefore, the Christian God exists. But, you, but what you're saying is impossible, I'm doing right now. I'm denying not, that the Christian you, God exists. Okay. No, you're not understanding. You are confusing. No, I do. Listen carefully. How, Adams, not, how am I not Adam, manning your argument? You are, you are confusing the verbalization with the denial with explicating the denial. Have you explicated the denial of the Christian God? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it means the denial is not just simply saying, I deny the Christian God. Okay. The denial of the Christian God is not simply the non-acceptance. The denial is the Christian God can and does not exist. Okay? Well, that's my position. Right. Now, now show, show me, in order to show that A does not exist, you have to explicate not A. Okay? Darth, in, we're going in, in order to show that A is false, what do you have to establish, Adam? Darth, I have already. I've Adam, already I asked given... you a direct question. I'm dumbing it down. In Darth, order to Darth, show that will you A answer is one false, question for me, Darth. Will Adam, you answer in one order, question for me? you see, one thing you're going to learn. I stay focused. In order to show that A is false, what do you have to demonstrate? I, I have no idea. Like I've already told the, you, my okay, worldview okay. is logically Adam, inconsistent. Adam, <laughs> like, Adam, I don't know what to tell Adam, you. Adam, you told me that you can and do deny the Christian God. You're, Denying you're on, the Christian God is not simply saying I deny the Christian God. You have to explicate it. Your your argument relies on the fact that Adam, the Christian worldview is, is logically it, coherent how and is any other worldview is logically incoherent. Adam, correct Adam, or incorrect? How is, it, how is it that the Christian God does not exist? Well, <laughs> the, uh, they, they, he never existed. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, your position entails the Logical falsity of the... Li 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 listen to me. Logical inconsistency. That's what my wow. my position you, you, entails. You, you, you are you married? Happily. Okay. Thank goodness you're not my wife, Darth. Darth, let's 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 take a breath here, just because okay. like I'm answering okay. a lot Adam, of your questions, Adam, but you're answering none of mine. Adam, my. how is it that the Christian God does not exist? The Christian God never existed. Okay. How did you determine that? No evidence. Okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere. By the by the way, for those Darth, of you, I don't hold, wanna, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. I, I don't want to go for down the other believers in the room. Gonna answer any of my questions. Though. Oh, this, I know. No, this I has will to be, be glad. A two -way street. I will, okay. I promise you, I'll answer whatever you series of questions. Give me you a want. pinky swear. I want. I want a pinky swear. I want to know. Swear. A pinky okay. swear. Now I, I want the other one Christians answer out of you. Okay. okay all right. I promise you. In six, listen, listen to me. In in sixty seconds, I'll answer whatever questions you want. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go. Pinky, what do you want? I'm ready swear. to answer. Now I, now I want the other Christians in the room to notice. Notice how, even though Adam is very frustrating to deal with, you notice how I'm not, I'm not getting that frustrating. Come oh, on. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come you are. on, dog. But I want the other Christians <laughs> to notice. You notice how I'm not losing my temper and booting him from the room, right? It's cause because I'm so nice. No, because <laughs> you could be trolling, but I don't think you are. I'm not okay? trolling, Dar. And I'm when just, somebody I'm is operating from at least, it, it, when somebody's operating from a position, at least from their atheism, that they're being truthful to in a certain respect, then I'm understanding that the problem here is that you're just not getting this. You're not being argumentative. I don't think he is. Do any other well, Christians in here, do you think he's being just argumentative or he's just not getting it? I, I don't want to disparage any Christ, any Christians that are in here. I don't want to disparage your faith either. Like, I, I'm not here to convert no. you to atheism. I don't Does any, I, I think do any you any live other a better life Christians as a Christian. Christians in here think Adam is trolling me? No, I no, don't. I don't. No, I, I don't think he is either. I just think he's just not getting it. Okay. I think right. I do get now, it. All right, now, okay, good. All right, now, I pinky sweared you that I'd answer what questions you want to lay on me, so go ahead. Oh, you want to do that first? 
I, th- I thought it's, you, it, you, you will you to, you will you told me you, you, you I just uh, you I were, want I want you to steel man my argument and I will steel man your argument. You don't have one. You have no you have no framework for an argument. I do have an argument, and that's why you just saying no. That, I, that did you, you hear what I just said? What did I just say to you? You said I cannot steel man your argument, Adam. No, that's not I what I just understand. said. You see, you're not that's listening. Exactly what you you said. didn't listen to me. No, that's not what I just said. I said you have no framework for an argument. Uh, okay. What's the frame? What? You, what is? Use, use your what, framework then. Okay? What is I'll the? No, no, Ad, Ad, Adam, Adam. What is the ultimate context that's a framework for any line of reasoning that you hope to present? I, I'm not a philosophy guy, Darth. You have me at a disadvantage. So, so you philosophy. don't have a framework. Yeah, uh, I'd like to phone a friend, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know what? I just said to you, you don't have a framework for argument and I do, argument. I do have and an you argument. Just, and you just, but you don't have a framework for it. Well, okay. So I don't have a framework, but. The, uh, let, then you well, don't have intelligibility for the predications that consist of the argument. So what I hear you saying is that you don't understand my argument, that you can't steel man my argument, which is. Your the, argument, the your that argument has no. Your argument has no external context frame of reference. Well, I'm I'm going to say my argument. Just I'm going to say your argument and my okay. argument. Just so go ahead. I thought you clear. wanted to ask me questions, but go ahead with whatever you want to say. I I did I did want to ask you the difference. Like what what is a worldview for? What is the purpose of a worldview? That's the question that you're not answering. The purpose of a worldview is it provides the background information so that we can have intelligibility for facts and the relationship between facts. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And But what is the purpose of that intelligibility of those facts? Without a worldview, you cannot have intelligibility for facts. That, that argument is circular. I think you realize that. No, that it's not circular at all. I'm stipulating that... The ultimacy of reality, meaning a worldview, is the precondition for depend the intelligibility of dependent facts. That's but not what is circular. The of that worldview. That's not. That's not what I just said to you. Is not circular in the least. You, you need a worldview to understand the world. Is basically if I, if, what listen saying, to me. Correct? If I say to you that X is the necessary precondition of Y, you, you're, you're making circular. it way more complicated than it needs to be. Okay. You need a worldview to understand the world. Are we in agreement? That's right. So what is the purpose of understanding the world? Understanding what the framework of reality is will then provide us with understanding for particulars or facts. That That's for what? Now, now did you want to ask me some questions? Because I, you I made a statement that there's an no okay okay what's the you question I haven't answered? What's what the is question, the Adam? Of a worldview. What is the purpose of understanding the world? What is the purpose? Well, well, first of all, we the purpose the the role of a worldview is the necessary ingredient or prerequisite for human intelligibility. And what is the purpose of human intelligibility? Uh, to cum- communicate. Well, what is the purpose of communication? So that we can understand each other. And what is the purpose of understanding each other? Um, interacting with each other. Correct. What is the purpose of interacting with each other? We form communities. What is the right. purpose? The, of the, the purpose of that is so that we will love God and love our fellow man. Okay. Is uh, sustainably over time? That's God's. That's God's plan. Right. Are you done with your questions? I think we're in agreement. Are you done with your questions? Yes. Okay. Now you stated there's no evidence for God, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, in a world where God exists, and we define God as the creator, we have the creator-creation distinction. Okay? In such a world, all facts would stand in causal relations to God. In a world where God does not exist, no facts would stand in causal relations with God. Okay? Do you accept what I just said? Well, the 
I've already given you that your the argument that you want to make, and I, I'm trying to steal man your argument here. Is Adam, that you, I you asked you a question. That. Did you accept what I just said? I, I, I part of it. I mean, it's. <laughs> I I know you it's probably didn't. I I know you didn't take your Ritalin today, so you need to stay focused. All yeah, right, what I no. would give for some Ritalin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Darth, Darth, I just I want to ask you. In a world, I'm, I'll repeat the qu- me, the statement see, and the question. I argument. will repeat. I will repeat. But, but I've already given question. you this, like I going over the same repeat. ground over and over again. You're like, a, you're, you know what? Are we there yet? Are we there? Mommy and daddy, are we there yet? We, are we there yet? Are we almost to grandma's house? Are we, we there yet? We passed it. We passed it, Darth. We've okay. been there. Adam, and now we're doubling back and coming Adam, back again. In a world, Adam, in a Your world. Your worldview is logically Adam, consistent. I give Adam, you Adam, in a world where God exists. All facts would stand in relations, causal relations with God. Okay? I, is this the, connect, the causal connection that you're making between okay. God now, and the worldview? Okay. Adam, still... Adam, Adam, I want you to shut up until I say go. Okay? <laughs> dark, dark. I, wa- I want you, I want you to be quiet until I Come say on. go. Okay? Come on now. I'm gonna Come make on. two, I'm gonna make two propositions. In a world, first proposition where God exists. All facts would stand in causal relations and be evidence for God. First proposition. Whatever you second, say. Second proposition. In a world where God does not exist, something else would be ultimate, and all facts would stand in causal relations and be evidence of that. Proposition two is false. Okay. Okay. So, so you're now telling me that you're a theist? A, a theist. Because yeah, because I said in a world where there was not God, there would be something else ultimate that all facts would stand in causal relations you to. You don't know that. No, Adam. You cause and effect could be an illusion. Read Donald okay, Hoffman, okay, okay? Okay, okay. Adam. Adam, listen to me. Uh, I'm, just, I'm trying. I'm no. I'm trying to think of how to phrase this so that you would immediately don't start, uh, you know, machine gun interrupting. Okay. Well, well, Darth, I, I think when we... you say, hold on a second, when you say a state of affairs could be, are you referring to that which is ultimate? Have not? you read Donald Hoffman? I know okay. we went over the Adam. Thing and when you say that. when you say something is possible. What you just said, are you referring to that which is ultimate or non-ultimate? I, it, what does it matter? <laughs> like, it, it, it matters. Playing, that's why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking the question. We're, we're playing because, word games here. Okay, Adam, when you mindset. say when you say we could possibly be in a in a simulation, okay, is the possibility that you're invoking? Uh, the ultimacy of reality or a dependency state? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. That's why you shouldn't be throwing around what's possible because you don't know what you're talking about. Adam, listen carefully. Can you answer me one more question? Adam, Adam, I'm trying to explain to you why throwing around when you say what's possible is very unwise for you to do. And here's why. Because my when worldview you invoke, might be when, let, 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 let me let me let me let me let me explain I don't something. Care if my is Possibility. Listen to me. And logic when you the same when thing. you talk about when you talk about possibility, you can only talk about possibility as a dependency state, in virtue of what specifically is ultimate. Says you. Do you have a rebuttal to that, Adam? I don't need one. You're just making that, stuff up. That, no, you know that what you're doing is you, you're you're now arguing with me like a 15 year old well, at the I cafeteria can't argue, table. According to you, Darth, I can't okay. even argue because I don't have the worldview or argumentation. Okay, okay. Ad, Adam, Adam, it's if you social. if you don't then 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 listen to me. If you don't have a worldview, you have no place. I do have to, a worldview. Okay, what is it that is ultimate in your worldview that all dependent states derive from? I don't. That's not important to my worldview. Okay, I didn't ask you if it was important. What that answer that you gave me 
among others, that is a classic sign of a diversionary tactic. What, what, why? I answered sincerely. That's How a is diversionary, that a diversionary, that is a diversionary response. Adam, in your world, what uh-huh. is it that is the basis of any dependent statement you make? I don't even know what you mean by that. Okay. There, there is no, no Adam, thing that's Adam, upon every, Adam, listen to me. That I make. When, I guess maybe oxygen. when you invoke, when you invoke either a state of affairs or an entity, whatever you invoke, right? It will either be in the class of ultimate or not. Now, so when you speak for statements of dependency or states of affairs that are not ultimate, in order for them to exist, in order for them to be metaphysically viable and intelligible, it's going to require a foundation for its viability. Okay? Now, what is it in your system that's going to provide the background information or canvas upon which for you to verbalize any dependent facts. Darth, we're spinning in circles here. That's another diversionary response. That's the kind of response you have when you either don't know how to answer the question or you don't want to answer the question. Well, you, I I mean, I've already, do I need to ask the question again? No, I don't. I'm th- this line of questioning. It's designed to prove that my worldview is logically incoherent. Am I incorrect? Okay, I'd like an answer to my question. Well, hold on. I- am I incorrect in my what, okay? A- Adam, we'll get to that momentarily. Now I, I, get, I want to know from you, you. My worldview is logically is incoherent, the God okay? of the Bible. You win. Is the God of the Bible? Is the God of the Bible? See your position. My position is that I am an atheist. Adam, I'm really, I'm real, I'm really getting fed up. Well, I've I've already let you win. Though I'm getting, I'm getting fed up. I'm getting fed up with your non-stop machine gun interrupting. You are not being conversant with me. You are being entirely evasive and argumentative. You are not debating at all with me. Now, I'm going to ask you, your position, you are an atheist, that entails the falsity of a creator God who is the necessary precondition for the viability of particulars or dependent facts. Now, What I want to know from you is simply this. In order for your position to entail that, you conceptually and necessarily have to have something else that is ultimate. Okay? Otherwise, your, your atheism is incoherent. Your atheism literally is the denial of the existence of God. In order to deny God, you're going to have to affirm whatever is ultimate categorized as not God. What is it? I don't understand the question. All right, hold on. I got to put my other headset on. Isn't the fifth thing the burden of proof? Yeah, I don't. This whole I don't understand. Obviously, this is the same form of reasoning that he goes down every time. He wants to prove that your worldview is logically incoherent, but I I think I've already showed like, <laughs> yeah, worldviews aren't logic. Worldviews are survival and reproductive strategies in the environment. They don't have to be yeah. logically co- co- coherent. So I <laughs> like okay, you win. My worldview is logically yeah, incoherent, yeah, but it's a, far better, not in reality. it's a far better worldview for discerning actual truth than this worldview that is logically coherent. The logically coherent worldview is actually at a, it puts you at a disadvantage. Um, can, can I ask you for a favor? Yeah, sure. What? Uh, um, I'm, there's... I'm back. Okay, now. Well, what, what's up? Uh, someone wanted to ask a question yeah, before we you, go on. You stated... 
Okay, you okay because we get nowhere because you're you're machine gun of interruptions. Now, you stated that there's no you stated that there's no evidence for God, and what that entails is that no dependent facts stand in causal relations to God as that which is ultimate. Now, how did you determine in a world where God would exist, everything you're okay, saying is just uh, like Adam, God Adam, 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 don't, Adam, 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 I, I'm just being me. honest here. Adam, Adam, don't interrupt me. Well, you might as well okay. be speaking French. He needs you to define evidence for him, Darth. He doesn't know. I'll be right with you. Hold on a second. Something's going haywire on my end too. Isaac's Isaac's. Well, I don't know how this chat even works. I'm like such a boomer on Discord. But Isaac, I know you're addicted to logic. Okay, I know you love logic, 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 logic. Okay, Adam, Adam. <laughs> logic is very. Logic is the an only excellent thing. The tool only thing. In certain situations. The only is my mic working? Yeah, yes. it's working now. The only thing that you're good at in these conversation is interrupting. <laughs> well, okay. I feel the same, Darth, but I think you've got me beat. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Adam, your position is not just simply withholding belief. Your position is, is illogical. False. Okay. 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 Uh, Adam, interrupt me one more time and I'm going to duct tape your mouth and the conversation will be over. Okay. Your position entails the falsity of God. Okay. Now, I want to know, in, in order for, in, for that to be intelligible and coherent, you're going to have to tell me what is ultimate that fits in the class of not, not God, okay? Otherwise, your position of the falsity of God is, are, is violating your own criterion of belief, okay? How now, is it violating my criteria for belief? Your criterion of okay, you my worldview. Your is position, illogical. your position, your position is that you do not have a good reason to believe in God because you do not have evidentiary support for God. Now, in order to hold to the position of the falsity of God, right? Right? That's a positive position. Yeah, not, not going, God is God. Okay. Now, what you're going to have to do then is you're going to have to tell me what is it that is ultimately in existence that replaces that is, God. That, that is that is not God, right? And what your reason and evidentiary support of that is. Now, if you do not have one, then you will have violated your own criterion of belief. And what is what is the ramifications of that? Which 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 means that your position at, at your position of atheism is by choice incoherent, logically incoherent, by choice incoherent, as, is it as is well it logically as, incoherent? as 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 well. Now, what is it that is ultimate that is in the class of not God, Adam? I no comment, and my worldview is logically okay. Incoherent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you. Thank you. Adam has now been duct taped. So now we just wasted over an hour.